Let me quickly get uh, your reaction to another development that you're hearing today. Uh, the issue of the president's recent defense of the Chinese telecom company ZTE and how it might be tied to Trump organization interests. It came up and it led to this exchange. Listen to this. Given that the president refuses to disclose his tax returns, how can you assure the American people that American foreign policy is free of his personal conflicts of interest? Senator, I, 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 find, I find that question bizarre. I, you, you don't want to answer it then. Senator, I've, you, you I've, just I've been, want to I've, describe I've, it as bizarre? Yes, I do. I, I, think, I think that's indicative of my answer, Senator. Yeah. I, I've been incredibly involved in this administration's foreign policy now for some 16 months, and I have seen literally no evidence of what you are well, scurrilously, that's what I scurrilously ask you, suggesting. Ask, ask you specifically about. Exactly. No, it, it is, is it not is an, scurrilously. It is, is an outrageous suggestion. My friend, Senator. it is not scurrilously. There, this has been raised by a number <laughs> of people yes, out sir. there. Yes, sir. It has. You want me to tell you who those folks are and what yeah, their political interests are? No, I know. It's be. fake news. Now. All right, Senator Udall asking the questions. What's your reaction, Senator? Well, look, Senator Udall was asking a, a legitimate question. In the absence of the president divesting of his interest or putting it in a totally blind trust, neither of which he has done, uh, and not disclosing uh, a year and a half after uh, his inauguration uh, what his uh, tax returns are, something I just recently did as I run for re-election to the Senate, uh, the reality is, is that uh, it's a legitimate question because for for someone who said, you know, let's let me help American workers helping ZTE when so many national security questions have been raised about uh, ZTE uh, is ex pretty extraordinary. And so uh, there are real national security questions here. Uh, I know my colleagues in the Intelligence Co Committee have uh, been briefed. I'm looking forward to a briefing myself. They uh, have raised serious questions. They say it's a really consequential issue. So I, I think having that type uh, of line of questioning is a result of not having dis uh, the uh, disclosure of your tax returns, not going ahead ahead and divesting and not going ahead and putting it into a blind trust. There are concerns. How, how do you have this dramatic turnaround about your views about, uh, you know, challenging China as it relates to the trade imbalance and helping American workers and then say you're worried about Chinese workers and ZTE, which is a national security concern?